Welcome back to another Twisted Metal story. It's gonna be the same as the last two, basically. <laughs> uh, basically, the entire game has been bonus content since uh, Sweet Tooth Story. <laughs> Not much I can do about that. Set sail for disappointment! And apparently, the end of Mr. Grimm's story has been uh, part of Dollface's story this whole time. Who knew? What, but wait, does that mean that this take place... Dolphy's story take place ten years before Sweet Tooth's story? Well, it... Or ten-ish, I don't know exactly how many years, but... It can't, because it happens after Mr. Grimm's story, because Mr. Grimm killed her robot, but then she answered the next year's contest. But he goes back in time. So you're making the mistake of trying to make this make sense. <laughs> it's not going to make sense. Who, they really should not have connected because none of them work connected. They all work separately, but none of them work connected. Yeah, it's the worst. They've got the uh, returning motif of crazy by Patsy Cline. Because these characters are out of their minds, get it? What? My name is Krista Sparks. Yeah. Maybe That's the me. most hack thing ever. I'm going to be the world's <laughs> most famous supermodel. No, no, that's not me. Oh yeah, by the way, one thing I may missed to mention in the bonus video uh, about them, the movie. Uh, kind of hilarious, you know, the movie with gigantic ants attacking mm. Earth. Um, do you know what it was called in Sweden? I'm desperate to find out. Spindlana, which translates to spiders. Oh, nice. <laughs> Those aren't even the... What? Yeah, Ugh. yeah. Yeah, and the poster had gigantic ants, but they still call the movies sp spiders. It's kind of a um, so, uh, up until like the 80s, uh, Swedish uh, cinema uh, replaced English titles with Swedish ones, and uh, they were bad often, very bad. But uh, Mel Brooks movies actually were uh, rev revitalized in Sweden because of uh, Springtime... Uh, uh, Blazing Saddles was called Springtime for the Sheriff. <laughs> Which is why Mel Brooks called his movie Springtime for Hitler just that. Because he, he loved the name. <laughs> Springtime for Sheriff, and he noticed that it sold really well in Sweden compared to his older movies, which had not sold well. Hmm. Fun facts about weird old yeah. movies <laughs> in different languages. <laughs> At least we don't have the dub thing that uh, French and German movies have. Also that... The effect on her mouth just reminds me of the Chuck Palahniuk book, Invisible Monsters. Hmm. Just run that out there. <laughs> I, I haven't. I'm sure Jaffe's a huge Chuck Palahniuk fan. Would not surprise me. Um, it's uh, Part of the story is a woman getting her, the, her jaw blown off by a shotgun blast. Hmm. Yeah, that's standard Palahniuk fare. People getting their intestines sucked yeah. out of their assholes and whatnot. But now the mask. <laughs> Everyone loves guts. <laughs> but when I win this contest, Calypso will help me. I tried to remember the theme song to Nickelodeon Guts, but I failed. And then I'll work ah, we never got it over here. Tragic. Show them all. It's just weird how she can't get the mask off. We know she's good with hacksaws. <laughs> Like, it's, it, what is it made of? Fucking adamantium? Well, that's uh, part of her story to come. Let's not spoil it. <laughs> but they've already spoiled the fact that uh, Dollface is an asshole. Just like a uh, fucking oh, uh, yeah. sweet tooth. Just everyone. Yeah, that was pretty good surgery. Uh, I guess, but... I mean, considering it was a... Yeah, but... Considering they, they they put it like okay her face was completely unsalvageable, uh, but it was salvaged. She had some scars, yeah, but come on. Well, she had one scar. She's supposed to be psychotically vain because she's crazy. Remember the song? You forgot the song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, new character, new vehicle skins. <laughs> yeah. Dress up time. Of course, everyone knows that all women are psychotically obsessed with how they look. Of course. This is this is a simple fact. 
to be fair, we have seen in the other two um, campaigns what happens if you don't care how you look. You become a Juggalo <laughs> or a different kind of a Juggalo. <laughs> you join Slipknot or you become a Juggalo. Those are the two choices. I like Mushroom Head. Shut up. No one likes Mushroom Head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how her mask is uh, kept on magnets. <laughs> so she can't re figure so out how that's it works. how that works. <laughs> Yeah, but she's a, uh, a closet juggalo, so she she can't get it off because she doesn't understand magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Twisted Metal, the Juggalo Chronicles. Welcome to Blackrock Stadium. Back to Blackrock. You lied to me, and I co you you said it would would never return, yeah. and, and you lied to me, and I completely blacked out that it did return. Me too. <laughs> it just seems like I'm never done with the place. <laughs> Even uh, Calypso is, like, losing confidence in this place. It's that bad. <laughs> it also had lava pits the first time we were here, we just couldn't go in them. I was going to point them out even in the video, but uh, fortunately I didn't, because Calypso uh, didn't want us to know they were there. Calypso, man, why you gotta be lying to us all the time? He is the devil. I think he's allowed to. I'm just really so jaded with it all. The addition of the spikes is awful. We can't go in that room anymore. Just one that kills you. Now, if you need extra help, keep an eye out for the orb. All hail the orb. to reach full health recovery. If you survive. I'd really love to hear what you think of the change. Is it your subtitles or the game's? I don't know if Sorry? it's even good anymore. Uh, Finley, is, is it subtitles you have added or are they native? Oh yeah, they actually subtitle this. The only only the boss fights don't get subtitled for some reason. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well that's fair. Immediately <laughs> crashing into you before you can do anything. Yeah. And hey, we, we finally got Darkseid at the end of the last campaign. So we get to play Dollface proper, even though Dollface in this game is an amalgam of every female character in the entire series. Chris Sparks, uh, Bloody <laughs> Mary, all of them. Not really Raven except for the fact that she's in Darkseid. Oh, it's going to be Raven later, but we'll get to it. Not the grasshopper, not the grasshopper driver. I can't remember her name. Her name is Krista Sparks. <laughs> Since she's not, yeah. Wait, is it? Is that? Yeah. So wait. Okay, I forgot that part actually. <laughs> so, uh, spoiler, bleep this out if you don't want it. Does that mean she is uh, Calypso's daughter? No, she's she's not Calypso's daughter in this game. No. <laughs> Just took the name. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, 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 I seriously don't remember yeah. that. <laughs> and not the robot version of her daughter, his daughter either. I guess then. Uh, I honestly don't remember much about this section of the game, uh, except for one scene, but I know that much. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, I just love the whole uh, thank you from the brave officers of the LAPD after you blew up <laughs> Calypso in... Yeah, that was great. <laughs> uh, well worth playing the whole fucking game as Grasshopper. Yeah, it's timeless, <laughs> because... yeah. <laughs> Should it be, but it kind of is. Um, no one would notice this, but... Does it, does it do much? Go ahead. No, go on. Well, I was just going to say that I uh, changed the soundtrack, like I said I was going to do in one of the earlier videos. So now it's songs that no one's ever heard of. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, um, what, what's the issue with the file format? Uh, of your... Uh, I, yeah, since I was guessing you were going to use an external drive or a USB stick or something. Uh, the issue is the PS3 has hidden menus that I had to look up online how to find them. And that's the only way to transfer music onto the Ah, okay. Drive. Oh, that issue. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just atrocious user interface. The PS3 is kind of shit. Yep. There were very few games that supported custom soundtracks anyway, even though they tried to have that as a big selling point when... Uh, the PS3 came out. Real shame because I think that would have been like an absolute brilliant thing to have in like well I mean any game with like GTA 5 a lot of music. Um, the Tony Hawk's games, this, 
would have been brilliant, but... Yeah, and GTA 5, as I mentioned, because they had it in the PC releases of the GTA 3 games, but not in the PS3 releases of GTA 5. Don't know if GTA 4. Um, which it was weird. Really weird. I never really got into GTA 4. The handling of the cars was atrocious. Yeah, I'm, same with 4, uh, as I mentioned, 5. Uh, it was mostly when you play GTA online without a custom soundtrack, it gets really, really boring, to be quite mm -hmm. honest. Yeah. So I switched to PC as soon as it came out. Yeah, I definitely felt the same way about this game. I, I'm rather sick of hearing the same dozen songs. So now we get to hear mine. That, <laughs> yeah, like I said, maybe four of them that I chose will be recognizable to somebody, but uh, most of them are just going to be nonsense like this one. So you did not take our uh, suggestion of Clawfinger? Uh, I added some punk. It's it's more punk than it used to be. We mentioned it before. Yeah, Clawfinger ain't punk. It's rap metal. Well, there was some rap on the uh, the original soundtrack. I I put in Rage Against the Machine. That's pretty close. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I uh, can't complain. See, I remember the original soundtrack being mostly um, like hair metal. It is a lot of that. It's uh, Judas Priest, uh, um, Sammy Hagar. Yeah, don't they have like Quiet Riot and uh, Poison on there? Hmm, maybe. It's got a bunch of songs that I don't recognize. I might be, I might be thinking of someone else, but yeah, I just remember a lot of it being like, this is someone's dad's music collection. Yep, it's Jaffe's music collection. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say he is the dad, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, this, this stuff was great when I was a kid. Yeah, that was yeah. like 30 years ago, man. My, my, my dad, he had proper shops for teaching uh, me to love music. It was Kraftwerk and uh, Rammstein. So you two should get along. Uh, take so. it you uh, poured one out for Kraftwerk last week then. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't. He, uh, my dad's dead, but uh, yeah, he would have. <laughs> no, I was saying um, you, you, you yeah. poured one out. Yeah, um, when Kraftwerk came to Sweden like 50 years ago, my dad, he, he set up and refreshed the page and constantly when the ticket drop was gonna be and he, he still didn't get the chance to buy it. He was like Ouch. 20 seconds into it and all tickets had been picked. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah. Oh yeah, Pink Floyd. He also taught me Pink Floyd. That's why I, that's why I only listen to bands with like seven fans. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah, same. Punk. Swedish punk, you always get a ticket to Swedish punk. <laughs> and again, I, oh, generally I only ever go to a, like one concert every seven years. Same, because there's no punk bands left. I <laughs> don't oh, know, it's just because the bands that I'm into never play the UK. Mm. Yeah, I know that feeling. Uh, I waited like... 15 years before I uh, finally got uh, the chance to see Clawfinger live. Which is kind of hilarious because they're Swedish. Or <laughs> not one in the band. And I had actually been in a party with them before I uh, saw them as a band because they crashed a party I was in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and now there are no more concerts, which is a bummer to me. I used to go to like 20 concerts a year. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, there's a concert. I got a ticket to a concert uh, for the beginning of July, and yeah, I'm not expecting uh, to actually happen. Yeah, unlikely. Yeah, I think I was meant to be getting tickets to go see the Birthday Massacre this summer. Don't see that happening. We can still do that. <laughs> oh, wait, is that the ban? Yeah. Yep, I know that <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, pretty good, but there are very much more on the electronica side of things, so not everyone's taste, for obvious reasons. Mm. Yeah, I'm not into hair metal, so I mean, I, I'm in a, with a tough crowd. I, uh, <laughs> I'm flexible. Uh. <laughs> oh, this song here is uh, Crossover Thrash. Everyone loves Crossover Thrash. I do think Thrash is a pretty good fit for this game. It's good driving around shooting people music. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, in the game too. Kill the orb. Yeah, I didn't bother with the orb. Um, the lava just doesn't do any damage, so no reason to go there. 
Yeah, I was checking to see if it did actually do any damage when you were in there, and it was like minuscule. Yep. The worst it does is that it makes your controller vibrate constantly the entire time you're in there. So it makes your hands fall asleep. Oh no! Uh, I actually have a first gen PS3 controller for games that abuse the rumble function. <laughs> so I just use that one whenever. Like, in that instance, I would have used a um, uh, first gen controller, so. Ha! You want to shake my control? Can't do that, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsolete. So, mean juggernauts. We've we fought juggernauts before, now they're better. <laughs> yeah. How are we gonna deal with this? So you're gonna go and uh, uh, gonna go with uh, the Reaper? I probably should. Yeah, she looks even dumber in Axel for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to show off that like the gun selection but is really good in Axel, but it's still a terrible car. Especially considering she looks like she's got giant fuck off ski boots. Yep. <laughs> I have found through extensive testing that Outlaw is the best choice for this fight. Hmm. Um, if you're going for a gold medal, then um, Talon is, but uh, if you just want to survive, go with Outlaw. We'll see why, because this is much harder than any level we've Welcome fought before. To Ghost Town Gulch, a long forgotten town where today. But on the bright side, we finally get to go to that town that we drove through really, really fast a long time ago. <laughs> drove around, technically. You must destroy all of your yeah, we went around the outskirts so as not to miss any checkpoints. Meet Juggernaut 2.0. He's faster and stronger than ever before. So he's red, so you can tell he means business now. Two of these at the yep. same well, time, red goes faster. Well, it may very it's true. Well make this Three times faster. Beatable. I'm sure you'll let me know if that's the case. Yes. If you get close enough to look at the driver of any vehicle, it is Sweet Tooth. Yeah, it's all at the first one. on fire and everything. Just literal Sweet Tooth. He got better. So lazy. But so, actually, that makes sense because this is ten years in the past, so he's still alive. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> They are too stupid to cause time paradox. <laughs> it's like, um, uh, Kronos just looked at these and said, oh, screw it, F my hand's up in the air, I'm gone. I'm fairly certain in the last 30 seconds we put more thought into this than anyone involved with the actual game did, ever. Yeah, we, t we tend to do that. Wow, okay, uh, that was quick. <laughs> that was Mega Guns. <laughs> Once you need mega guns to win this without getting killed, because there's no garage, you can only have one vehicle. So this fight goes, it ends quickly. Either you die immediately or you kill Juggernaut immediately. There's no other way around it. And the way to kill Juggernaut immediately is you find the mega gun pickups. I happen to know where all three of them in this level are, and I'm gonna go collect them all. But you, you could theoretically do it uh, if you're. I mean, with the um, Reaper, rather effectively, without the Mega Guns, I think. Yeah, I mean, you could do it with any vehicle if you were good enough. Um, yeah, yeah, but I mean, um, if you, you can reliably one-shot, or at least two-shot them with a special. Uh, I wouldn't say reliably. I got pretty lucky when I recorded that one-shot in the uh, ah, first okay. Juggernaut fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not saying I could do it. I'm saying you. Yeah. <laughs> I was asking if you could. Um, I don't have the outtakes from... <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to rely on that. Much, much more reliable is to get the Mega Guns and just... do that. <laughs> Juggernaut never uses energy attack, right? Juggernaut uses the freeze, but nothing else. Ah, oh, okay. Seems like kind of a waste. Nope, uh, not if you are um, uh, um, um, if you're not if fighting outlaw. Yeah, because it'll ruin your special. But yeah. really, all you need is those mega guns. They do one damage per shot, just like any other gun. But uh, they fire ridiculously fast. So that's the only way to kill Juggernaut without getting killed yourself, as far as I can find. Did you just poop out a mine there? Yeah, I put a mine out of bounds and. <laughs> so that's not gonna help me. That that was oddly surreal. <laughs> so 
So, yeah, I mean, the rest of this is just a regular battle. So, um, YouTube commenter Sev213 pointed out that uh, when this game was released, you could upload any picture you wanted and use that as a texture for your vehicle. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I, I know where this is headed. I didn't do any research to see if, that, if anyone used that or if, 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 if even if it was factual, but I assume it was. Um, you could probably upload dick pics and then play this game online. And I assume it was the same, but rather fast. Yeah. <laughs> More people have seen my dong in the last 14 minutes than in the last 25 years. Yeah, and it unlocked this weird memory in my head of, um, I think it was Tony Hawk's Underground for the PS2, allowing the exact same feature. But you had to, like, email a website with the picture that you wanted, and then it would automatically, like, give you a code that you could upload to a memory card using a USB separate device. It was way, way ahead of its wow. time. Wow. <laughs> so no one used it. I mean, I remember you could do that with uh, Jet Set Radio. Hmm. You could basically use any picture online as a uh, graffiti tag. Uh, Wasn't with there, the latest results. <laughs> uh, a Mario Kart game or something uh, that you, let you use pixelated logos and people made pixelated dongs. I think it was. I, I didn't do it myself, but I read some hop up about it. I, it might not have been Mario Kart. I actually just remember talking about pixelated dongs. Trust <laughs> me, this will make sense in a minute. <laughs> uh, Lego was working on a sort of Minecraft <laughs> style <laughs> game, um, Lego Universe. Might have been. It was a it was pretty obvious fit, but they want they, they contracted this company um, with a very certain demand, which was that they wanted to make it impossible for anyone to create giant dicks in game, which is obviously the first thing anyone's going to do when they're playing it. Uh, the reason I know it was Lego Universe because hey, guess what uh, I did in the alpha. My job was to find a version of Lego Dicks, pretty much, and <laughs> co contact the rep. That was an actual extra job I had, so that's what I know, knew what you were talking about. <laughs> I, I was a professional dong seeker. Wow, that's one for the CV. Nice. I'm honored to be in the presence of a dog finder. Yeah, if you love your work, you never have to work a day in your life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a growth industry. <laughs> Never going to be out of, uh, out of a job if you are a professional searcher of dongs. Always more to find on the old internet. <laughs> <laughs> there are always more and there are always dongs. Hey, I managed to uh, gold medal that fucking level. Took me so many tries to beat it at all, but once I figured out my strategy, gold medal pretty much automatically. Oh, they had a skyline. I forgot they did. Yep, and we only go there one time. And it's gonna be pretty cool. God damn. Yeah, I know, it's such a waste. Yeah, because though they are usually the most fun, right? Yeah. I like this guy. They're supposed to be the big epic finale, but instead they're halfway through the final campaign. So join us for that next time. They just stopped caring, didn't they? They sure did. <laughs>